Hi guys, what is up? It is Alex here, and we're back with more Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, we bought our own truck as you've seen in the last episode, and uh, now it's time to get our own sort of uh, get our own sort of uh, deliveries on the move. I suppose you want to say that. And uh, yeah, what can we? What should we deliver? The reservoir tank. That's quite a long journey. Should take that one. Alright, so let's go. Manage this garage. Throw manager. He's still resting, what's he doing? So we go around here. So now we gotta go and get the truck. Obviously it's a lot easier to drive these without having a big trailer on the back of them. drive out and uh, away we go we're gonna go and collect the we've got to go and collect the the package and it's gonna take us a long time to get just to the package so the package not really a package it's but it's like a what are they doing What the hell? Seriously, I didn't even... Oh... YOLO. Oh, I couldn't... I was getting a bit annoyed there, I'm sorry about that. Lost a bit of money by doing that, I think. But now we're just gonna... Just try and get there, it should be going a lot faster, because obviously we're not getting, uh... Held up behind, uh... Get, not getting held up... Not really getting held up, but not towing a truck behind. So going through the countryside, I'm just going to hopefully get there as soon as possible and uh, we started from that place right there, that's how we started our whole journey. I like this truck actually, it's quite nice, it's probably not that fast with the a trailer on the back of it but just driving by itself it's quite nice. And lots of people are saying, can you drive around just free free roam in this game? Yeah, you can, but you've got to really just do some of the do some of the sort of jobs, uh, just so that you can actually get a bit of money to just free roam around. And the whole point of it is just sort of having a business. So I'm oh, going through up through the countryside now. That's quite cool. I think we've been up here before. Oh, no truck coming the other direction. Oh, probably not the best place for trucks to go up around this little countryside bit. But across the motorway there. I'm not sure you can go on that. But yeah, we're just going to have to go and get this uh, delivery, then take it to wherever we were supposed to be going. But obviously, without the thing on the back, it's a lot easier. We're still only, ca I think we're still capped at like 55 miles an hour. What's this car doing? He's just stopped in the middle of the road. The cars in this game are a bit weird. It's like sometimes they're really fast, sometimes they're really slow. It's like they, he's, he's pretty much just stopped and now he's just sped away like a crazy man. It's a pretty fast little truck here, it's actually quite nice to drive. And uh, yeah, I'm actually amazed that people still watch this series just because at some points it just doesn't really seem that interesting. Um, but you know, I enjoy this series, so I, I'm gonna keep making it. There you go, that's, that's full beam. <sighs> We're getting tired in the game, which just had a little bit of a yawn. That's made me yawn now. Is there any cars coming? Oh, whoa, yeah, there is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's another one. Give him a little bit of a flash, just like get out the way. Now it started raining. Phew! Somehow we didn't get any damage out of that. That was a bit stupid of my part. I'm very sorry about that, other truck man.
But I don't take this game super seriously. I mean, obviously, nobody's stupid enough to drive like this in real life. Um, but blimey, it's not really... Oh, there we go, full beam. Obviously, in real life, you wouldn't put on full beam as well, because that is pretty rude to go in full beam. It's stundery now. Not very nice drive uh, weather for driving. Fifty-one, five miles an hour. It's going to be a long journey. All oh, fifty-five miles an hour. Uh, he's getting tired. I'm getting tired. All right, time for a quick drink. And whoa, he's thundering quite badly here. Yeah. Gotta get my drink open and drive at the same time. Why oh, is everyone stopping? What? Seriously? Why did you just stop there? There was no reason to do that. I wonder how much you can actually see anything with the rain just coming down across your windscreen. I suppose you can sort of just about make it out, but that's dangerous. I can't get stuck up behind too many guys. I've got to get to our destination. Even though it is a double white line. And we shouldn't have really done that, but we'll keep just going because we can. Is that another truck in front of us? I think it is. <sighs> We've got two cars to go for the overtake on. Well, it's just a huge queue. Very lucky they didn't get taken out there by another car coming the other direction. Phew, I've got past all of them and that other car coming in the other direction, so... That was lucky. Um, I really want to make these episodes like an hour long, but there's just no way that people would even bother watching it, so I don't really see any point, really. Uh, but now we've made some significant steps. We bought our own truck. We bought two of our own trucks. We've uh, got our own destination. Ooh. There we go. We had to stop there. Stop there because of the car, the trucks are in front of us stopping. I don't really understand why they always stop. I don't really. It's like in real life there'd be some car crashes, so why, why aren't there any in the game? <sighs> so can we overtake this guy now? We are. We're just gonna go for the overtake. There we go. I'm trying to get too much like a racing game. This thing. It's just too much fun to <laughs> go for overtakes and stuff. Um, but the other guy in our garage must hopefully be doing work instead of just. What was he saying? He was uh, resting. Yeah, okay. It feels annoying only being able to go 55, 56 miles an hour. Uh, we, we can hopefully get to our destination soon. It's not really concentrated, it's pretty boring just staying on the same road for ages. I think we're going to go onto the motorway here. Motorway, dual carriageway. Yeah, up here. Stop stalling. Stop stalling. There we go. I don't even know where we're supposed to be going, I can't remember now. Is it Birmingham? think maybe <sighs> we're getting tired find a place to rest well he yawns it makes me yawn so it's annoying sorry I've, I've never got told that if you hear someone yawn or see someone yawn that I would never yawn but because I have been told it let's do it so where are we going up here up and around onto the motorway. We can actually drive it like a bit of a racing car now because obviously we've got the truck on it, so you know it doesn't roll over every time. It looks like the rain has stopped, so we'll turn the, the wipers off. Oh, what are you doing? You're just charging down the motorway, not even thinking about the people coming onto the motorway. I don't know. 
Maybe even if I shouldn't have been in that lane, you should have been thinking about it. You shouldn't be charging down the motorway. <sighs> you are getting tired. I'm getting tired because he's yawning all the time, and I'm getting tired because of that. Uh, hopefully, we can just get to as a rest spot there. The thing is, if, if we rest, we're just going to be late for the, the thing, and that's going to cost us points. So we're gonna really, we really need to rest when we're not in the middle of a job. So there's the rest spot over there, but we won't be taking that that opportunity to rest. We'll keep on going, we'll soldier through it, and we'll get to the destination and pick up the delivery, which was it a reservoir container or something? And yeah, two hours of in-game time to go, so I don't know how much that is in our time, probably like 10 minutes. I'm not too sure, probably a bit, hopefully a bit less than that. There's another guy just trolling through on the motorway <laughs> without a trailer. Uh, glad to see that I'm not the only one doing this. And I really want to get the mod to take off the speedo, so I can just go fast through the... I don't know if we can get on the autobahn from Germany, but that'd be pretty cool. We could go on there and just speed along. So where are we going? I suppose we're going across the bridge. So one mistake that we made that we went off the motorway is still really embarrassing to go back and look at that video where I got lost. And um, so yeah, one and a half hours to go. Uh, they get they're pretty boring now, uh, <laughs> but I was, I, I think I said it a couple of episodes back. Um, I was thinking about it. Should I do let's plays? And, and I, I know games like this, I could continue this let's plays on. I don't know, maybe Last Afterlife or something, and speed the effects of them. about that. But maybe we can continue the let's plays on that Afterlife. Maybe I'm not really too sure. It's more vlogs. Uh, I don't really want to start off another channel, but. I don't know, we'll see what you think. I think four channels is a bit too much. Three is quite a bit to keep a hold of. Um, but yeah, I still still like posting these So um, on this channel. So I don't really see need a point of making a Let's Play channel just for Euro Truck on a different channel. But yeah, I don't know. Leave your, if you are still watching, leave it down in the comment section. We'll have a little read through them. I think there's going to get a point where I'm just going to get bored of this game because I, I don't know, it's just kind of a bit boring from time to time to just do these really long journeys. I might just start doing the short journeys, uh, even if they're just for little money. I'd rather rather do short journeys and make an entertaining video out of it. Where are we going? Are we going up here? I think we are. Oh, here we go, one hour and eleven minutes left to go. And we're still nowhere near it, really. Um, oh, it's so boring. I just wish I could have something entertaining to talk about, but really there's nothing interesting to talk about. Especially as I'm recording this in about a month or so in advance, so... Yeah, that's a bit, inv a bit too far in advance probably to record these, but... It means that I won't have to record any of this for quite a bit of time, but when I get back onto it, I'll like, realise I'm like, oh, in debt by like 50 million pounds. So, an hour to go. 59 minutes to go. 58 minutes to go. So it's like every five seconds, I'd say, that goes down a minute. So, let's work that out. That's, I, I don't really know. <laughs> I got into my head, I can't really work that out when I'm so tired. Uh, but yeah, we're not that far from it now, I'd say. Um, just got to make sure we don't crash or anything and yeah, it's been pretty much just holding down the throttle and steering but oh, I don't really care anymore, just keep going out, I just don't really care about speedy events um, you are tired, you should find a place to, you should find a parking spot and rest exclamation mark So that 15 minutes in game has gone really fast in comparison to how fast it's gone otherwise. Going for the overtake on the orange Skoda. 
40 minutes remaining to the journey is complete. Now go for the overtake on the white. Skoda, I think it is. A car coming through on the outside. Flying past, that looks like a Honda, Jaguar, or something like that. Flying past the other truck. Is that Mercedes? I think it might be. Mercedes truck. Be faithful to my old Renault trucks because, you know, it helped me out at the start. I think that was the first truck we used. It's quite a nice little truck. Especially is this one so cheap as well. I don't know whether you can actually find any cheaper trucks than this. Um, but as we go around and discover more places, I might find some cheaper trucks. But I don't really mind. I think 100,000 euros in game is obviously pretty good than how much they are in real life to buy a truck. But that's not actually that bad even in real life, I'd say. 100,000. But then you've got all the fuel, the, the tax, and all that sort of stuff. So a little old boring journey here. Oh, didn't mean to press the window wipers. Get into that lane there, it's the Range Rover. Oh, what are you doing? So we're near the end. Uh, 20 minutes in-game time to go. So I'd say it's about 2 or 3 minutes. Making our way through the cars like a little chicane. We got past them. It's like a racing commentary. We got past them. Whoa, the prof has stopped. What a bit of an idiot that guy. So we're getting tired still. Don't know how we haven't like blacked out from being tired, but um, yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. But we are very, very near. We're just going to go under this motorway. What was that? Did I find for something else? Probably. Oh, that, that was uh, Christian getting some money. Yeah. He's getting all the money I'm getting fined for. So, rolling up into Birmingham. Only about a minute or so left before we get to the place. And I'm going to have to say, I really can't do the journey as well in this episode. It's going to be, that'll be to be too long. But it's been a nice little journey. Um, racing through the um, racing through the countryside I suppose you want to call it and um, yeah it's been pretty interesting it'd be quite cool to deliver a car someday like that guy and um, <sighs> still getting time mini map come back I need to tell you I need you to tell me where we're going oh, so it's pretty much just here Land Rover, Range Rover, whatever. Why are there always red lights whenever? Am I supposed to be? I think I'll go up here. People gotta remember the truck doesn't have the greatest top. Doesn't have the best braking, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, we're only running at 15 FPS, not very good. Come on, cars. Come on, lights. Let's go. We're right at the end of the journey. Things that it's like an always like a two second delay as well on the throttle when you accelerate. Why is he always. See? I have to brake and then he just stops and it's like. Uh, red. Red. What the? He, I was right behind that. This Jaguar and I got a red flag, I think. How does that make any sense? The thing is in this game you got you get it even if you're speeding, like in real life you would uh, have like a speed camera there or something. So the speed camera things are probably legitimate, but jumping a red light, not everyone's gonna see that, so I think from time to time the um that shouldn't always have you know they shouldn't always charge you. Sorry about the yawn there. Uh but yeah, we're right at the end of this journey guys. It's actually been quite a long journey even though we haven't actually been delivering anything, it's just driving there. So we'll, uh, we'll deliver the, sort of the, I guess you want to say the, it's not the parcel, I, I will deliver the, the, I'll spit out your words out, we'll deliver the, the trailer next time. Oh. 
spin around and oh nearly hitting in something there find a place to it's like now it goes to a dark screen but we're already here so here we go I think we just have to park in this view job offer enter yes we want that take job and um, yeah sorry about this one not being the most interesting guys um, I clicked on it yeah I'll see you in the next episode guys hopefully that will be a good one um, proceed to the loading area we'll do that all then so yeah have a wonderful day it's been Alex I'm out of here